Famous wilderness guide and investor, Timothy Treadville invited me to Alaska to learn about his unique investment philosophies. He tells us that the way to survive a bear attack is not to flee, but to face it down, because you can't outrun or outclimb a bear. The same is true of a bear market. If you flee a bear market, your odds of coming out unscathed may not be very good, but facing it down and staying the course could mean you not only survive, but you thrive. Well, I'm here with one of my favorite bears. It's Mr. Chocolate. Hey, Mr. Chocolate. He's been with me for over a decade, and he's been my good friend. Oh, he's a big bear. He's a big bear. A very big bear. Wow. Tim, this is absolutely ridiculous. You invited me out here to talk about bear markets. These are real bears. Just because you name them doesn't make them less dangerous, and you can't just treat them like they're people dressed up in bear costumes. I should have never agreed to this interview. For once there is weakness, they will exploit it, they will take me out, they will decapitate me, they will chop me into bits and pieces. I'm dead. So far, I persevere. Persevere. Most times I'm a kind warrior out here. Most kind times I'm, I am gentle, I am like a flower, I am like, I'm like a fly on the wall, observing, non-committal non-invasive in any way. Occasionally I am challenged, and in that case, the kind warrior must, must, must become a samurai. Okay, I get it. You stay calm, and you take emotions out of it, and you can ride the wave. But you never did ask me what my risk tolerance is if I'm afraid of bears. I don't need to be here. We could have done this interview on Zoom. So let me ask you something. What is going on in your head right now? Must become so so formidable, so fearless of death. Please tell me when I call my clients up during a bear market and say similar things, I don't sound nearly as crazy as you do right now. The argument how wrong or how right he was disappears into a distance, into a fog. What remains is his footage. And while we watch the animals in their joys of being, in their grace and ferociousness, a thought becomes more and more clear, that it is not so much a look at wild nature as it is an insight into ourselves, our nature. I have an unfortunate 2022 update to the story. Apparently in 2020, Tim got caught up in work from home stocks, opened up a Robinhood account and started taking advice from Reddit. He invested 13 years worth of hard-earned capital and accumulated assets into cryptocurrencies and meme stocks. It took a matter of months to evaporate all that. Try to do what I do, you will die. You will die here. We need more rain! So the lesson is, while you don't have to be afraid of bears if you're properly positioned and you're aware of your environment, if you dive headfirst into a stream of grizzly bears eating salmons, the outcome is not going to be good. People wearing bear costumes out there instead of wild animals. Those bears are big and ferocious and they come equipped to kill you and eat you. And that's just what Treadwell was asking for. He got what he was asking for. He got what he deserved. Now the longhorns are gone and the drovers are gone. The Comanches are gone. This is my life. This is what I do. I love it. Geronimo's gone. He always said if I lost it all, he could just become a LinkedIn guru and teach people to generate 15 to 30 leads a month. And the red wolf is gone. And that's my story here for me, Timothy Treadwell, the kind warrior.